What's up, Coffee Time family? I am back with another episode of Coffee Time Podcast. This is still season two. Mm-hmm. Season two. And I got a special guest with me, as you guys see. Hi, guys. I got my lovely, lovely wife with me on the episode on today. Hi. And, um,. We also the host of First Time Parents podcast as well, so please go check that out. The description will be the link. I mean, the playlist of First Time Parents podcast will be in the description below. The playlist, okay? And um, we just did another episode of First Time Parents check podcast. Please go check that out. It was awesome. And I'm a uh, Upload that video later on today. That episode later on today. Maybe tomorrow we'll do a mukbang. You want to do a mukbang? A mukbang? Yeah, for dinner. Okay. We can do that tomorrow, yeah. So stay tuned for that. And, um. Because you're going to do a lot of videos. So, other than that, Mm -hmm. I hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day on today. And, um, I'm going to do something different. Cause y'all don't really, y'all never really got to know us, have y'all? Y'all don't really know. No. That's the, you know that we're named, right? Yeah, you guys yeah. know who we are, but you guys don't know who we are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um. It's gonna be fun. So, I'm, uh, gonna give y'all a scripture first. This, um, this is what I. Can I pick a scripture? Yes, you can pick I a can scripture. Pick a scripture. So, my lovely queen is gonna pick a scripture. Pick a scripture. So, this is gonna be. Something different. Mm-hmm. I did something like uh, you know, with scripture and a prayer before before I do each episode. So um, I'm gonna do the same thing mm-hmm. on first time parents podcast. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think we should do one about right? Oh, uh, you wanna do one about love? What kind of scripture? You um, hit it. Um, my phone is <laughs> about you, you know, we can do it. Do one about love. Okay. So, um, give Sorry, us a, guys, my phone is very Give us a moment. I'll wipe them. But, as um, soon as come up. but, um, I know. Already? I pray that y'all are having a blessed and wonderful day on today. You want to do my favorite scripture? Yes. Because you know I have a bunch of I know you do. Okay, you okay. I did my favorite scripture last week. Um, here's a scripture from First Corinthians mm-hmm. chapter 13, and it's the King James Version of it, and it's um, verses 8, I mean, sorry, 4 and 7, and it reads, love is patient and kind, love, is, love does not envy or both. Bolt. That's what yeah. it is not uh, ign- <laughs> ignorant or rude. <laughs> it's a hard I'm sorry. It's a really hard scripture, y'all. Yeah. But just just bear with me. I'm gonna have to memorize it. Because it's my favorite. To. It is her favorite. Yeah. Is not. It does not assist in its own way. It is not in, in terrible. What? Where you mad? I'm right here. Irritable? Irritable? Irritable. Irritable okay. or resentful. It does not cycle. rejoice at wrongdoing. But rejoice with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things. Endures all things. That's my prayer. That was actually what I said before I met him. But um, do you want to expound on the scripture, or or do you um? You, you want to explain why I love that scripture? What um? Because um, I can explain it real quick before we do the um, icebreaker. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you um explain why you picked this scripture? Why it? Why is this? Um, why is that my favorite scripture? Why? How does the scripture mean to you? 
I mean, the scripture means mean because, like, you think about it before anything. God do love us, so let's just do it. Mm-hmm. He do love us, so like He sees it as I. No matter how much you do wrong, He's gonna love you, and that's never gonna change. But when you say love is kind, love is patience, that means when you're in a relationship or with somebody, you should always be with God first. But you know, when you do get in a relationship, love is patience. So you have to be patient. with Love is kind, so you have to be kind. It does no wrong. So love can be, you can, you know, you, you can't do wrong with God. Like that's that's just the part that you, you can't do wrong. Um, I actually love the scripture since I was a little kid because I looked at it as love is all these wonderful things. And when I got with somebody, me. I was like, I would love for our love to be patient. I love to be kind because we we do have a love that's patient and kind. Mm-hmm. We we don't see no wrong. I don't see no wrong. You don't see no wrong in me. No. We see the good. So that's why I love that scripture. But you, you know, sometimes what I feel about the scripture is yes, love is patient, love is kind, and uh, we you know we have to love everyone. Despite of their wrongdoing, that's basically what I said. We have to show God's love. Yeah, not we have to. Done. We can't do things in our own way. Sometimes we do things in our own way, but forget that God had brought us out from doing our own. Way. Yeah, you never know. Mm-hmm. What a person but I know. think of it as once we say yes to God, I think it as a contract. Mm-hmm. Like a business exchange. Yeah. So once we sign, once we declare or give our lives to Christ, we oh, sign. Say, we yeah. sign that that dotted line on that paper. Yeah, it means yes, I give it all to you. Yeah, and God is like, okay, once you sign that line, that means that I take control. Yeah, it means you gotta give it all to me. And so, I'm hurt you, yeah. so love is kind, love is patient, love does no wrong because he's basically saying, So, um, I just really, really, um, I just, you, you know, I really love the scripture, and I'm so glad that you read it, that I had a pleasure of reading it, and, um, you know, we get to. You know, share our thoughts about the scripture, Definitely and my scripture and please comment down below if you want us together to do more scriptures, and so we can um, incite. Oh, we can you know, you know, a day and read a Bible, like like a Bible scripture. Yeah, like we can open the Bible and we both can take turns reading a scripture, pick a scripture out of the Bible, or we can just like you know, we, you know, just, we love stuff like that. Like we love to. Read we love to explain because not everybody's going to understand my aspiration. Every, you, know, you know, like he's not going to always see what I see when I talk about scriptures because like, we do not always, you have to see the same. That's just how it is. Right, so. Cause I mean, um, because he might read his differently. Like his, like when you read that, you saw it differently. Um, but, we're um, gonna, yeah. But, uh, uh, other than that, let's get into this. Uh, let's get into We just wanted to. We just wanted to um, share that, share that, share yeah. the knowledge that we, you know, have. We might do another one tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, here's, we're doing something different, okay? Here's an icebreaker. So, this is an icebreaker to to let y'all know about us. Because okay? y'all don't really know. Y'all don't really know. And we have done what y'all know of us, but y'all don't really know us exactly. as people. So, so we just wanted to do something different okay. for you guys, and enough of us talking. Let's get started. Okay, get so started. the first question is, what's something you look forward to doing this week? Look forward to doing this week. Um, what well, I look forward to doing this week? Mm-hmm. Spending more time with our son. That's what I always look forward to. I look forward to spend time with LJ. And uh, we're back. 
Hey guys, sorry about, that. So, sorry about that. I had to change the battery in my camera. I know, it's annoying. <laughs> y'all probably thought we was gone forever. Mm -mm. We I, coming back. We, we told y'all. We came back. We told y'all that we was coming back. But, um, okay. like, where we was, um, left off. But, but, um, like I was saying that the next question. Sorry, sorry about that. Next question is Are you. Are you an early bird or a night owl? A night owl. I like to be up all night. <laughs> I'm a night owl. I'm a mom. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm a night owl. I don't go to sleep until like 12, 1. Or if I'm tired, tired, I'll... Like, if I'm tired, tired, that means that I don't... That, that means that I don't get up until like 12, 1, 1 o'clock. Like, I usually go to sleep, like, you know how when you take a nap, you take a nap when your body's so drained, drained out, and you mm -hmm. just love to be in your bed and take a nap, and next thing you know, it's 12, 12, 1 o'clock at night. Yeah, so, <laughs> then... I mean, yeah, I'm a night home because I have to be a, because I be... After my son goes because I can't be there when he's up. Um, I usually just stay up all night watching TV, eating junk, mm -hmm. watching my shows, and I can't watch when he's up. That's why I'm a night hog, because I wait till he goes. And then I wake up, because he wake up early, but I'm really, I don't like getting up that. Yeah, you know, with children, we have to be up and alert. Because if we didn't have, you know, I'm not saying. We love him. Yeah, we love him. We but wouldn't if, trade him for the world. He's going to stay in the world. So if we didn't have a child, I would probably sleep. Yeah, we were sleeping. I'll be up all night. But, but we have a child, so so we have to be very alert and um, I mean, very, you know, very aware of if he's up. Or sometimes he, he when he sleep in his bed, he comes and wake us up. Come wake us up. Or if we still sleep, he just look at you in your face. <laughs> and you'll watch TV. Or you'll play with the till you get up. Okay. Right, so the next question says What person, living or dead, this one's for me. would you want to have over for tea? I don't know. Um, my mom, of course. Yeah. I would love to have her for tea. So I can ask you how it is in here. She's been up there for about 30 years now. Yeah. Who, who do I want to have over for tea? My great grandfather. My How long has he been gone? He's been gone for. He would have made. A hundred? How long has he been in heaven? It's, it's, it's kind of hard. For me because me okay. and my great grandfather were like this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you like, how long has it been? Because you would probably know more than somebody. It was because it's been a while. It's been been years. Mm -hmm. He he wanted to live. Okay, he wanted to live to see me turn a teenager. And then that's he, did. he did. lived. And then the next couple of weeks he passed after my birthday. That was God. God said, okay, that's what you want. I'm going to give you what you want. You get to see your grandson. Your great grandson. Yeah. So, um, he could not believe. Your mom said he could not believe that you're a dad. He would be so shocked. My mom would be shocked on my mom, too. Because technically, she never you know, he would have loved him. My great grandfather would have loved him. He probably would cut all my son's hair off, though. Yeah. <laughs> my son would have been bald with that big head. You don't look bad with big heads. I remember that I had a whole head of hair. Whole head of hair when I was. Oh yeah, I saw it. I have, I have pictures, by the way, on my Instagram. It's like, okay. I had a whole head He's of hair. He's handsome as a baby. Whole head of hair. He once, like him. once my grand, once my mom dropped me off to my great grandfather's house, he said he ain't gonna be the same when you get him. <laughs> when she got back, he cut all my hair off. And 
and it, and it was in the Ziploc bag. Yeah. The Ziploc bag. <laughs> you probably would fail with that. With the haircut. No, I looked good. Oh, I guess you just pinch your head side. Oh, honestly, when you get a haircut, try to get it to like your head size. It sounds crazy. Like with me, because I got waves, I get like a dark Caesar. Because I have waves. Let me it's your head size. That's that's your head size. Yeah. That's the shape. Like LJ's haircut is perfect. Because if you cut all his hair off, because he got a big head like his lady. Um, if you cut off his hair off, he's gonna look weird. But um, I know a lot of kids who look weird with haircuts. Yes, my great grandfather. I won't say who I know. Mm-hmm. You know, I will have my great grandfather over for tea. Uh-huh. Okay, what emoji? Hmm. Do you use the most heart with the, the office? The heart. I definitely use a heart. A heart. I use the heart a lot because I I send you hearts a lot. She sent me hearts. She sent me kisses. She she sent me a lot, a lot of emojis. But mostly hearts. But mostly hearts. So I would probably say I use hearts a lot. But mostly hearts. In prayer, a lot. But um. To be honest with you, I I send mostly hearts, kissy faces, kissy faces, the tongue emotion, <laughs> yeah. the pray hands, the pray hands. Um, so yeah. that was good, y'all. It's, so that that's what I use. Okay, if you had to eat. Oh. One meal for the rest of your life. Oh God! What meal would you pick? Ooh, that's a good one. Because I don't really eat meat too much. Um, a salad, definitely, because I like salads. It's really good. Like the seasoned salad with the chicken in it. A oh, one meal? That'd be my one meal. A salad? Yeah, salad with chicken in it. Chicken. The Caesar salad. I don't know about you. A Caesar salad. But, <laughs> but if I had one meal, I would have took. I would have bought a whole entire store. If I had a meal for a day, Play I would have. I would have said. Um, how that played up with each and every chicken, rice, lo mein, all that other stuff. Yeah, you love Chinese food. I don't love Chinese food all the time, but but I love different other foods. But I, I, occasionally, he's a foodie. Yes, I, I am. But so uh, is so is Well, technically, he gets that for me. He loves food. Actually, I used to love food. I just don't eat a lot of. So that's why I pick. I pick. Varieties, you know, variety. Variety. I I don't know. You don't know what he's. Yes. Like different options. Yeah, different options of food, and I would eat for the rest of my life. Yeah. Okay. What? What would your biographer title? Your by um biography. What would it be called? Yeah, what Living with the struggle of being me. Like, I've had a hard life. I lost so many people. So, it would probably be living struggling because I lost my mom, my stepdad, my grandpa, my auntie, and my grandma, and my other auntie. My life would probably be living with me in the struggle of being, um, I don't know, just pretty much just in the struggle of me. Because I've had a horrible last four years, five years. Do I want to go through it again? No. Do I want anybody else to pass? No. Because I don't think I can take it anymore. My heart broke. Well, um. What would your title be? My title would be. How would it be? How is it being a dad? My, yeah, and I'll be the how is it being a dad? My because because my dad was in my life. I had different 
uh, father figures that wasn't present. That was or wasn't? That wasn't present. And I had father figures. Well, I didn't even know that. I just thought he had, his dad wasn't in life. I didn't mm -hmm. know all that. I had different father figures. See, I didn't know stuff either. You know, we're still getting to know So I did have different father figures in my life, mm -hmm. but but I can, all I can say is mm -hmm. all I can say is that I can say that I'm I'm different than my dad because. I'm different than my dad, so. So, so, so it's like me being a father mm -hmm. is the best thing that could ever happen to me. Yeah. So that that would be the title of my biography. It's a good title, I like guess. Definitely. It says um, the next question says, if you could know any language. Oh. Any language. What you got? Um, in terror, in instantly, instantly, which, which would it be? Spanish. Definitely, because I like. I'm not. You know, I I would love to learn Spanish. Because I would love to learn Jamaican. I want to teach you Jamaican, man. Yeah. We actually need to go to Jamaica, y'all. If y'all want, if y'all want to see us travel in the world, please. Because we need to go to Jamaica. Cause if y'all want to see us travel, my dad's half Jamaica. So. Um, I'm part Jamaican. It's so all I have it in me. So we could get to go and learn yeah. their language and eat mm -hmm. their food. Mm -hmm. Even though I've ate their food before, have you had their food before? Heck yeah, the <laughs> oxtail. Yes, baby, it's delicious. The oxtails, the cabbage. Yeah, like, everything. Yeah, I we need to do that. We need to admit that. That's the question. Yeah. Oh, that's but um, the next okay, the next question. So this is on fifteen questions, by the way. Yeah. Fifteen. The next question is: Do you have a bucket list? I actually do. If so, what's the number one thing on your list? To go to Paris. I would love to go to Paris because I did have one and I got that wish. So now I'm gonna do the next one, which will be Paris. I want to Paris. You want Paris? The love, the city of love. Oh. Because I want to kiss you on the um. The Eiffel Tower. Yes. I want us to go up there and have a nice dinner. Go we'll get proposed there. Again. Proposed on the yes and in. Again, get proposed again. Yes. I, I proposed to in you Paris. Paris. In Paris, in the city of love. Okay, you yeah, That's my place, yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, out. <laughs> um, damn. My, do have one? I do have one. What was your first? My, my one thing is. That you really want, that you really want to happen. One. Is, um, I have two. Okay, when you, you know, okay, you can do two. I have two. two. Is go to a seafood boil and have a drum shed. Yeah. I want to go he's to. Never been. He's never I never had been. One. I never had a seafood boil. He's never been to one. I never been to one. It's I've sad. had seafood balls, boils. I said balls. Balls. Pause. Balls. <laughs> but but I've been to you know I've been to cookouts that had fish, shrimp, and everything. But but I never went to an actual well, just, seafood, seafood boil. Well, they just cook seafood like crabs and shrimp I, and fish. And, you know, right. So stuff. I never so, I never went to a you know seafood boil. That'd be nice. Yes. And, yeah, I think I and, and also I never you had. Know, I'm probably gonna take them along one day. I never had a drum shed. Mm -hmm. I never had one mm -hmm. where all the drummers come together. So that that's where on my bucket list. Let's get that so 
the next question this says what fact about yourself do you think would surprise this group would surprise everybody yeah I mean, you have to watch um, okay, okay I love the same it would surprise people I'm not just saying because people don't believe me when I say I can't have to show people so that probably shocked everybody so you know what she can say for them and I'm not just playing well, um, the one thing about me that y'all, the one fact is, I like to sing. I do. I like to sing. I like to drum. Y'all know you like to drum. Y'all know I like to drum. So that's not surprising to this. And, and, um. But the singing part might be surprising. The singing part will be surprising as well. But, and, um, I love, and love, love, love. To dance. And that's what that's me. Unless you love me to dance. You seen me dance, but you I didn't know you loved to dance. Yes, I used to love I used I used to be the life of the party. The life of the party. But have you got older and don't want to do no more? And you just don't the have next question to... please. You see he's trying to crack too much? Huh? You see he's trying to do something? Like... Okay, next question. You, you you're trying to <laughs> I gotta love her. Okay. She gets on my nerves. Okay, what's like, the next question? The next you know, question yeah. says, if you wasn't footing the bill, would you rather a housekeeper? Would you for a house? Okay. Would you f uh, would you rather a housekeeper or a personal chef? A personal chef. It, mm, yeah, a personal chef. I can manage that. I'd rather chef. both. I mean, I'd I rather a housekeeper and a personal chef. I mean, the personal chef is cook for me. <laughs> I like to cook for mom. And for well, mm, okay. Okay, I'd rather a personal chef and a housekeeper. My both. Why both? Because you hate cleaning? I, I don't say I hate cleaning. You just don't really want I don't, to put it on. If, if I'm like, you know, like had a hard day at work, mm -hmm. I don't feel like cleaning up. Or cooking. You, or, or cooking. Okay, that's good. Okay. But, you, you know, if it's on the weekends, you know, weekends, we can, we can cook and clean. You know, we can like during the week that we work, we can just hire a housekeeper or or a uh in or hire a um personal chef. Yeah, okay. Okay. What was your favorite your favorite subject in school? English. Mine was gym. I hated gym. It hated you too. It's the reason why I hated gym. The reason why I love gym is I get to bust everybody up in basketball. I hated gym for personal reasons that I would not like to say on this camera. Even as a young woman, even though I was a teenager, um, I have yeah, I had issues. I had big problems. They were balanced. My well, boobs were balanced because I had big boobs even as a even as a teenager, I could never. So they were, you know, when I run, because I did PE, I did um, RCT for gym. That was a good idea. Well, um. RCT would be That was my favorite. Suck. My favorite. Favorite, mm -hmm. favorite. English. Because I like writing. English. Huh? English, because I like to do write and I like to like read books, because we write like a book. I forgot his name, but he's actually from South Carolina. He's from um, I, the island in South Carolina. So we could, the we, island. It was good to read about him. And, and the next question says, it's if you have any animal as a pet, okay. what animal would you want? A dog, because I love dogs. I hate cats, because they, they just look evil. 
because if you make them too bad, they will hurt you. You know, a dog because you can kind of train them, and they will they will never. A fun fact: a cat will eat a, your own, his owner before the dog. Will go. I'm just saying. It's a fun fact. Look it up. You didn't know that, did you? A cat will really sit there and eat his owner if he's too strong, right? A dog will do that. I know. I know. So fun fact. So I have to say a dog because I don't want to eat it. I'll say you know I say a dog because I have a dog. I want to. Midas. But but um, you have Angel. I have two. Nino. Nino, my dog too. And Midas. And my three. Midas is your dog too. No, he's actually your dog. He's my dog, but you're my wife. You forgot about that? No, I didn't. He's still really good. Is that all the questions? Yes, well, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. We did something about it. This is something different, but um, I pray and pray that y'all are, please, please share this video, please like up this episode, and there's more and more like this coming your way, okay? And um, I, we just love you guys, we just, we just want God to continue on blessing y'all, continue on blessing this podcast. And just continue on blessing our families. We love you. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.